Cell phone video posted by the Cincinnati FOP shows the moments a massive crowd gathered at the banks. Two people can be seen fighting in the middle of the road with many more recording it on their phones. Those same phones are what police say led to the large group. Without doubt, that's uh, played a part in this and played a part in so many others where these kids are able to uh, communicate very quickly and then gather. Hills is a retired Cincinnati police officer and says a quick post can turn a small group into one that quickly gets out of hand. It was a huge challenge, like I said. Again, when you're dealing with youth as in individuals, uh, once you go to engage somebody, if you decide somebody finally crosses that line and you want to make an arrest, usually that even elevates things. Police say it took officers close to an hour to break up the group. No one was hurt and there were a handful of arrests. It's kind of a thing where you're just trying to herd uh, the kids and, and get them to move on. Uh, but in the meantime, you're wondering how violent could things get? Well, I'm so very grateful nobody got hurt on Easter Sunday on the banks. Since two violent attacks around Fountain and Government Squares, Iris Rowley and youth outreach groups across Cincinnati have focused their work downtown. It's extremely important um, to be able to help frame um, and love on and teach and build with young people who may not have that structure. They're working to connect young people with things like jobs and training programs. Rowley says they're going to continue those efforts downtown while looking for more long-term solutions to cut down on the violence. This has to be a comprehensive response to the needs of families and their children. Now, Cincinnati police tell me there will continue to be an increased police presence in the downtown area. We're live at the banks tonight. Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. All right, Tyler, thank you so much. And detectives are continuing to go over security camera footage and cell phone video to see if anyone else involved will be charged. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.